He loves to be around people, loves to train. He's the kind of guy that'll end up either running the country or being the top coach in Russia later on. He's, he's top notch. I heard as well there's never a kid he said no to on signing autographs, that type of true leader. His name is probably stamped on a lot of pieces of programs and papers throughout his time. Watch his feet, he's so fast moving side to side with him. He's never really grounded, but we see that from some athletes. His feet are constantly moving as he pressures forward, pushing and pulling, hopping and moving. Sulemanov very similar with his feet. Well, they, they're they really using all parts of their bodies to get into position, and there's that really awkward bend of the elbow. That'll be a slip, no points awarded. Looked like he tried the quick head throw there as he tried to snap down onto the headlock, and it slipped on through, allowing Vlasov to pounce. And why not? Go for it if you can, right? I yep, mean, absolutely. You're putting yourself in a situation for a nice baseball throw type of sag headlock. Vlasov is going to get the first passivity point. He's going to get the first chance to work what many consider some of the best in the parterre in this weight class at 77 kilos. This is such a statement match for the young Azerbaijan and Suleimano. Chance to go up against the two-time Olympic gold medalist. Let's see how he fares underneath. Vlasov into a quick stand-up, explodes up a second time, shoves away the hand. He has the Azerbaijan up in the air, and he's unable to get the throw. Good job there by Suleimanov, who was able to to regain some traction midair as he was in flight and just the step out point. He was, and, and Vlasov usually in that situation can take your feet to back. He walked Suleimanov to the edge of the mat and then not quite taking him to his back, but still really well. Two nothing glass off. 45 seconds to go in this first period. Tell you what, you, you, you come out with just the one point underneath Vlasov, that, that's not too bad. That's a win. That is. Especially after you get snatched up into his chest. To just give out the, the step out point, not even a proper throw point, that's, that's pretty awesome. Hand fighting, pushing and pulling, and Vlasov using that good push position. Let's see if he pulls here in a moment. 10 seconds to go in the period. Well, do you think the opportunity will present itself to Suleimanov to get the parterre back. Hard to tell because Vlasov's really controlled the center. He's pushed Izeri to the edge of the mat. He's been you know, controlling the tie. But if we're working on an official who believes that it should be reciprocal and there should be some reciprocity to the, the calls, then yeah, we will. It really all depends on the crew of three that you have on the mat. I would say that the coaches from Azerbaijan probably told Suleimanov, you need to push the action. And you know, taking that type of risk against a wrestler like Vlazov, sometimes he can use that pressure against you. Blue 
Vlasov trying to clear, clear up his left hand, being tied up by Sulimanov. There's the verbal warning to Vlasov, so it looks like he will have to be forced to go down underneath. And an opportunity soon will present itself to Sulimanov, and that chance is right now. I believe that was the right call. I think Sulimanov had controlled the action, had given himself a chance. Let's see if he can get a lift or you know, a gut wrench here on Vlasov. Going to start on the right side. Now he goes pretty much parallel with the two-time Olympic champion. Settles his grip in around the belly button area. Low gut wrench, just right above the waist. Still trying to find his, his real firm grip so he can get into a position to maybe get an elevation. Jumps his body over to the opposite side. Comes in between the legs of Vlasov and there is no chance to get any type of lift. And, and that defense, what you don't see is that the weight of Vlasov is on the hands of Sulemanov and he's just rolling his body over those hands. So picture your hands underneath and just rolling over top. Your arms and your wrists aren't supposed to go that way. The pressure, that was offensive by Vlasov as he controlled the body and the hands of Sulemanov. Remember, Vlasov has two one-pointers, so if Sulemanov can figure out a way maybe to get a step out, you saw him, it looked like he was trying to bridge up momentum maybe to get at least action toward the edge of the mat. Vlasov, though, just so wise, so experienced. So talented, you can bet he's going to work to control his map presence in the center. Big matchup when you look at team race. Azerbaijan sitting third, the Russian Wrestling Federation first. So you now this is almost a must have if you're Azerbaijan. Even though it's early, a chance to take points to prevent Russia from adding to their lead. Vlasov right now just controlling hands, controlling that tie. Sulemanov. He's going to have to make a risky attack here, whether he's fainting or trying to get around him, trying to drag over top. But the, the presence and the position of Vlasov is beautiful. Referee says no fighting, but that's kind of where we are. He's got to go pull on the head and smash the, the body into uh, Vlasov to try and score those points. Vlasov, look at that, he just cuts the corner on a dime. Circles it back to the center, to the dismay of Sulimano. Last night it was the offense of Roman Vlasov against the Hungarian that pushed him into the finals tonight. It's his defense that allows him to become a three-time world champion. 2011, 2015, and now Six years later in Oslo, Roman Vlasov adds another chapter to one of the great books in Greco-Roman wrestling for the Russian Wrestling Federation. And after a little break there of, of uh, winning world titles, that's got to feel great for Roman Vlasov and vindication. You know, when you feel like they're, you're a step behind, getting back up to the pinnacle is difficult. So congratulations to Roman Vlasov.